Destination Japan is presented by Earner's Mattress. Welcome back. Ramen is at the heart of Japanese culture. It's comfort food like chicken noodle soup or a cup of hot cocoa. But we're not talking about the instant noodles you buy in the grocery store. Lindsay Nadrik shows us the intricate process to develop the delicate flavors. The smells of spices and citrus hit you when you walk through the door. It's welcoming, comforting, and exciting all at the same time. A Fury Ramen started in Japan in 2001. After becoming one of the most acclaimed ramen chains in Tokyo, its founder decided to open another location in the U.S. in 2016, choosing Portland. Not because of its reputation as a foodie town, because of the drinking water. Portland is one of the few locations that has the similarity of the water quality. This picturesque stream flows by a Fury's main kitchen at the foot of Mount Fury. Marketing director Yoshi Mecklenburg says water is 99% of the dish when you make ramen. So the quality of the water is just as important as the other ingredients that go into the broth. It allows us to uh, replicate the same taste of the ramen we serve in Tokyo. A Fury signature dish is called yuzu shio. It's a clear broth with a little citrus in it. The yuzu is imported from Japan and only a few people know the full recipe. The chef combines that with other locally sourced ingredients to create what some might call a warm hug in a bowl. It's comfort food in Japan. And I would hope that having warm and tasty bowl of ramen is like a, you know, what, like a hot chocolate in snuggling in the bed on a hot, cold day. It's a dish that's not only filling, but comforting. However, despite its easy slurpability, making the broth is a labor intensive process. The yuzu broth takes six hours to make. Their tonkatsu or pork broth takes eight. It's a craft that requires a lot of hard work and skill. What goes into it and when changes based on the weather and the humidity. They have to change the timing and adjust the little bit of ingredients too. So, which is something, you know, like for me, it's rocket science, but. <laughs> but to the chef, it becomes instinct. There's also an art to assembling the bowl that makes it to your table. Each topping is carefully placed and in a specific order. They told me serving an imperfect ramen isn't an option. So you can be sure what you get really is a taste of Japan. Reporting in Portland, I'm Lindsay Nadrich.